Welcome to Bag Sumer, Pas de Calais, right in the north of France, we're on the north coast, opposite England, close to the Belgian border for the 2018 World Power Powerlifting European Open Championships. Hello from Will Downing, and we have five days of competition. We're starting off with Rita Jokinen of Finland. We're in the women's up to 41 and up to 45 kg events they're both taking place in unison and we have 12 who are watching this morning so we start with Rita Jokinen of Finland who's attempting 35 kg to get us up and running for this week's competition it's already been a medalist at the World Dwarf Games, which were held in Ontario last year, but that starts off with a no lift for Jokinen. There are two Finns in this competition. The a champion at those Canadian-based championships last year, Jenny Kusela, we'll see her a little bit later this morning. There are six in Group B, six in Group A. There are five competing in the women's 41 kg and seven in the 48 kg. We've uh, a new innovation for you from this year's European Open Championships as we've a camera in the warm-up area so you can watch a bit of training as the athletes are getting ready. Last Europeans held at Eger in Hungary, brilliant venue, brilliant city in northern Hungary. Uh, it was three years ago. The defending champion of the 45 kg from Poland, you see the Kostrick, we'll be seeing her a little later this morning. So we've around 90 minutes of competition for the women's 41 and 45 kg. Then after the opening ceremony, we're back at 16.15 Central European time, 4.15 in the afternoon for the men's 49 kg, followed by the women's 50 kg events. So next up for Hungary, a previous Paralympic champion in swimming, Kata Engelhardt who made a major uh, international debut in powerlifting at the Ego World Cup last year, just about a year ago exactly, from Budapest. She was seventh in the World Championships in Mexico City in December. She's competed in seven Paralympic Games, all of those in swimming. She's been a Paralympic champion in swimming in 1996 in Atlanta and six Paralympic medals in that sport. Did quite well in the Ego World Cup, which was her uh, international debut. She's attempting 46 kg here. Originally, it put herself down to 47, and she's the first of those competing at 41 kg. And she's got that three out of three, all good. So, up and running, and our leader in the 41 kg category, of which there are five. We've got three juniors as well competing uh, this morning. Quite a lot of debutants too, as is invariably the case. Poland have got two competing. We're going to see the first of those up next. Well, 
Matt Engelhart will be very pleased with her uh, opening effort at 41 kg. There's five in that. So next up for Poland, this is Monica Schramm. Her first major championship, she's 22 years old. effort because it won't count there was a uh, halt in the competition up to that point so I'm afraid she's going to have to do it again and the reason for it is that there's been a change in running order you'll see that Kim Hyun Suk of Korea is next to lift on 48 she was actually in the tunnel ready to come out and for some reason uh, Monica Zhang's name came up lifting 50 but because Kim is due to go for the lighter weight obviously she comes out first and Kim was originally down for 48 and Monica Zhang for 50 anyway so it ought to have been Kim who was uh, called out didn't happen but Monica Zhang has been out on stage and she's lifted 50 and now she can come out in a few minutes and do it again uh, Yeni Kusula of Finland, you can see in the background. So this is uh, back on the right running order, Kim Hyun Suk of Korea, who's uh, coming out to lift 48 kg. She's competing at 45. Rita Jukinen of Finland, the only uh, other lifter we've had in that category so far, who missed out at 35. And it is Kim's first major championship as well. Kim Hyun Suk, who is at 22, and her first attempt at 48 kg. So the uh, technical stop because the wrong running order was being followed essentially. So Kim's had a few minutes in the tunnel should be well primed now. Struggled a bit. But she's been given a clean bill of health. Two to one for the judges in her favor. It uh, did go up tentatively and one of the judges did fear against it. But the other two satisfied with what they've seen. Chief referee is Yu Jin Lee of Korea, the side referees Eliana Rak of Greece and Patricia Parker of Great Britain. So 45 kg, Kim Hyun Suk is our new leader with that lift of 48. And now we've already had the introductions for Monica Zram. Uh, coming out again at 50 kg. So we're back on the right running order again. And well, literally, she's been here before. So 
This is in the 41 kg event, both the 41 and the 45 being run off together. So at 50 kg, that didn't seem to hold any problems for her, and it's three out of three, and that's her first major championship lift, and it's a good one. All three in her favor, and she's our new leader at 41, so Caitlin Engelhart drops down to second position, and Monica Jean is our new leader. So next up for Finland, this is the world champion from the World Dwarf Games last year in Ontario. She was one of four Finns competing at those championships. Rita Jokinen was uh, one of the other four that we've already seen. Gold also in the World Cup event in Dubai, the FASA World Cup back in February which is obviously a big one in the calendar. Finnish national record holder as well, 52 kg. So this for a new Finnish record, adding one kilogram to it. 53 kg for Yemi Kusela of Finland. So 53, she got it up there. No lift though, it's 2-1 against, maybe a minor issue, 2 iron out, that would have been a new Finnish national record. So as to consider what went wrong, we're at the Fire de Berg de Mer. That's the stadium here, part of the sports complex. Two football stadiums either side of this indoor venue, which is normally used for basketball. Berg de Mer, right by the coast of Pas de Calais, which is just to the north of here, we're near boulogne sur mer as well, near Calais due west of Lille, which is only about uh, 45 minutes away by road, northwest of Amiens, and just beyond Lille, the corner into Belgium. So now for Ukraine, Xenia Tokar, who's aiming for 55. Her first major championship for the 16-year-old, but did win silver in the FASA World Cup event. Back in February. Nora Bedore took the uh, gold in that. for 55 she lifted 59 in Dubai and she's lifted 55 here three out of three good lift and that puts her into the lead she's a junior as well just the gold medal up for grabs in junior and 41 kg and obviously all three senior medals as well that puts her into the lead on 55 the other 40 ones we're going to see Lara Apresida de Lima of Brazil and Zoe Newson of Great Britain. We'll see them in Group A. So that's the first six, first round done in Group B. And Celia Tokar is our leader at 41, lifting 55 ahead of Monica Jram of Poland, he lifted 50, and Keta Engelhardt of Hungary lifted 46. And in the 45 kg category, just the one successful lift so far from Kim. 
Hyun-suk of Korea, who lifted 48. No joy for the two Finns so far, Yeni, Kusela, Orita, Jokinen. Into to round two then, Rita Jokinen of Finland who missed out last time at 35 kg going again now. <laughs> so missed out at 35 kg first time around, did Rita Jokinen. Straight, and it's been called that way. Three out of three, all good. Problems first time around, but real sheer delight from the Finn. And there you have the sheer delight. Cleared her the second time of asking. She has been a world championship medalist, not on the world para powerlifting circuit, but outside those World Dwarf Games, and that is the official title of the competition. That bronze in Ontario. Kat Engelhardt then, who was successful last time out at 46. She's in the 41 kg events. And looking to add five to the bar to lift 51. para sport circuit in Hungary as we've seen and in terms of para powerlifting they've got one of the main venues uh, Hotel Park in Eger which is staged the last European Championships three years ago and which will have a one of the two upcoming World Championships 2019 and 2021 Kazakhstan with the other didn't register a mark actually in the Echo World Cup last year on home soil but she's already got a 46 the bike didn't really look straight there and that is a no lift three reds against managed to get the right arm straight struggles on the left So all of the lifters in the 41 kg event have been uh, successful in the first round. Engelhardt missing out her first attempt in round two. And next to come will be Monica Dram of Poland, who lifted 50 in the opening round and is going to go for 52 now.
So successful at 50, not adding much more to it. Going for 52 this time. comfortable with it there's a large Polish crowd here and she's got it three out of three and didn't look to overextend herself by putting too much extra on the bar Monica Jam goes up to 52 and she maintains second position in the 41 kg event <laughs> First major championship, and it's so far so good for the young pole. So next up, it is Kim Hyun Suk of Korea, aiming for 52, having lifted 48 in the uh, previous round. She's competing at 45 kg. She is a leader at the moment. So this to strengthen her advantage. There's still four more to go in this weight category in Group A. Well, that's a struggle. That is a real struggle. So that'll be uh, definitely considered a no lift. So 48 is where she stays on. She'd added 4 kg to the bar and definitely be on her this time. Couldn't get any height on the bar. This to round off the second round of lifts in Group B. In the 45 kg event, we still have Xenia Toka to go in the uh, lighter weight category, but Yeni Kusela, world champion of the world, dwarf games last year in Ontario. Missed out 53 last time. Another attempt then at 53. This to take the lead. Now, was that a bit more stable? Not according to the referees. Three reds again. She has a lot to work on, so. Still no mark registered by Yeni Kusela. Made headlines quite a lot of them when she uh, won that world gold last year back home in Finland. Her teammate Rita Jokinen continuing her final practice ahead of her final lift. Uh, mainly at this stage, just all watching the monitors behind the stage. That warm up area is literally directly behind the stage from whence Xenia Toka will emerge. The 16 year old, the junior, lifted 55 impressively in the opening round and going for 60 here. 
She's in the junior event, but obviously, chances of the senior medals too. And unless she's overtaken in the next round, she's already guaranteed a senior medal. There's only two juniors of 41 kg, so they're battling directly for a gold. So the junior is uh, not in the bank. Can still be overtaken in Group B in terms of the medals by Kata Engelhardt and Monica Jean. And there's two lifting at 41 in uh, Group A. So she's our current leader. And if she can come out of Group B as the leader, then it will be a bronze at the very least for her. So aiming for 60 here, that is not straight, so that's not going to be called her way. So it's a no lift then for Xenia Toka of Ukraine, but she cleared 55 in the opening round. Monica Zram of Poland is on 52, so not far behind, but Toka would have the head to head advantage as she's a lighter body weight. competitions later around three and a half hours time the men's 49 kg followed 1800 tonight 6 p.m central european time the women's 50 kg first day of five and it being the european open uh, two sets of medals Championship and uh, overall as well. So Rita Jokinen, two attempts at 35, got the second of them this 37. May have wavered a bit, and all three referees are voting it down. So she got the second of her three attempts, Rita Jokinen, and registers 35 as her best lift of the day. She's in the heavier weight category of the two, being competed for at the moment, 45 kg. So she is our European leader at the moment of 45 kg and second overall in the open competition, Rita Jukkonen. <laughs> 41 kg, everybody's had a successful lift and everybody in Group B is uh, from Europe. It's only one uh, lifted from outside Europe in the whole 41 kg competition. We will see a little bit later from Brazil, Lara de Lima. So next up, Kim Hyun Suk from Korea, who is our open leader, having cleared 48 in the opening round, but missed 52 kg in the second attempt, second round, so going for 52 again here. So are. 
current open leader at 45 kg having lifted 48 in the opening round missed 52 and really struggled with that in the previous round so him in for 52 again here uh, sorry to say it's the same story So 48 is her best. Unfortunately, no joy for her with her uh, two final attempts, and 48 is where she declares at. was a worthy attempt but uh, unable to come out of it successfully with the final two attempts so now next to come Jenny Kusala for Finland her third attempt at 53 she's missed the previous two so this to register a mark this to take the lead in the 45 kg event. And she's in a real spot of bother here, having claimed a different world championship title last year. This to get on the board would give her a chance of a medal. But getting on the board first, the important thing. It looks an improvement, but not according to the referees. Not sufficiently anyway. Three reds against her, so it's no mark, I'm afraid to say, for Yeni Kusela. Unsuccessful with her three attempts. And so Yeni Kusela misses out on registering a mark. Kat Engelhardt then of Hungary her uh, final round effort will be 53 kg missed 51 in the second round but successful at 46 earlier on now currently lying third in terms of the European competition and the open competition at 41 kg leader is Senia Toka lifting 55 Monica Jam in second place on 52. I think we've a change of running order, by the way. We do. Monica Jam is next to go, having been successful with her first two attempts at 50 and 52. She's going now for 53. one kilogram heavier than a successful second round effort and that is successful too oh, she's done everything asked of her all three lifts successful and it doesn't move her up the rankings any higher but it does keep her for now in the silver medal position in both the European and the open competitions Lifted 50, 52 and 53. Thank you very much. And she will get a medal if somebody in Group 
A fails to register a mark. So Kat Engelhardt comes out now for Hungary and the reason why the running order has been changed is because she's going for 54 now instead of 53. Missed 51 in the second round having lifted 46 in round one. Currently lying in the uh, bronze medal position in both European and open competitions with that 46 and this to put her into the silver medal position above Monica Schramm. Monica Schramm with the slightly lighter body weight only by something like 200 grams but it would have uh, given her the advantage in the head to head so they had to go for 54 once Schramm went for 53. So Engelhardt at 54 to try and get into the silver medal position. It was a struggle to get it up. But she's done it cleanly! And Engelhardt leaps above the pole and she goes into the silver medal position for now. Well, that was fabulously done. And that means a lot to herself and to the competition overall because it means for her now that if somebody misses in group A she does get a medal six times a Paralympic Games medalist in swimming made her international debut in para powerlifting a year ago in Eger at the World Cup there in Northern Hungary and didn't register a mark there finished outside the medals of the World Championships in Mexico where she was in the top seven anyway she's in the top two right now with two to go in this weight category of 41 kg and this is our leader of 41 kg Xenia Tokar of Ukraine who is now guaranteed a medal. Nobody's overtaken her in Group B, and there's two who will be lifting at 41 kg in Group A. So she's got a bronze at least in the senior. Not guaranteed a junior medal yet. Missed out at 60 kilograms in round two. It's only clear by a kilogram from Kata Engelhardt now. And this is an attempt at 55 kg. Grisenia Tukar. So an attempt at 60 then. Went up slowly and 2 1 against. Wasn't that far off. So 55 her best. It will be a senior bronze at worst for Celia Tokar. And maybe she was hoping for a bit more. Well, there's two more to lift at this weight category. Lara de Lima of Brazil, which means it's a European silver for Celia Tokar, it's a European bronze for Caitlin Engelhardt and it may be better if Zoe Newson has problems in Group A. Zenia Tokar in the gold medal position for now, Keta Engelhardt the silver and Monica Zram the bronze both in the European and open competitions and there's only one European lifting in Group A and two overall, and this is the non-European, Lara Aprecida de Lima of Brazil, who's attempting 62 in this opening round, her first major championship. That turned 15 exactly a month ago, 25th of April. So if she gets this, 
at 62 kg she wins the open junior title Zenia Tokar has taken the European junior crown and is our current open leader so Lara de Lima to take the lead in the open competition at 62 kg made it look ridiculously simple and she's got it 2-1 two two a good lift for Lara Aparecida de Lima from Brazil she is our new leader in the open competition Xenia Tokar is our European leader. But Lara de Lima, our new leader of the open competition. So of the six lifting in Group A, four are competing at 45 kg and two at 41. And next to go will be in the heavier weight category of 45 kg. It is Shaksoda Mamadalieva of Uzbekistan in her first major championship. So she's uh, attempting a lift of 65 kg here. This would put her into the lead in the open competition. competing as a junior she's uh, 17 years old well she didn't hang around did she three out of three three white lights of the referees so she is our new leader in the 45 kg category still three to go at this weight but that was very very impressive so she leads in the 45 kg event currently in the silver medal position in the open is Kim Hyun Suk and our European leader is still Rita Jokinen on 35 Next to go then for Great Britain in the women's 41 kg it's Zoe Newson, World and Paralympic Games bronze medalist. One bronze in the last three major global championships. The last two Paralympic Games in London and in Rio and the World Championships in Mexico. out of Suffolk Spartans in Colchester and this is for the gold if she gets this straight away the gold medal will be hers both the European and the open gold European gold certainly at 83 kg 
to be crowned European champion. Didn't hesitate. And Houston's got it. She is the European champion, lifting 83 with her first attempt. And she has the European gold. It's probably the European Open gold as well, but she's the continental champion. And that improves on the silver medal claimed in Eger in 2015. So now the reigning European champion claimed the last two European titles in Eger and in Alexon in Russia in 2015 and in 2013, respectively. Be well supported as well for Poland, Justyna Kozdryk. Silver at the World Championships in Dubai, fifth in Mexico City. One gold already this year in the Faza World Cup in Dubai and in last year's World Cup in Hungary in Eger. So this for the lead. She's attempting 90 kg. And it's good. And she's our new leader. This will be very competitive. At 45 kg, she overtakes Shiksoda Mamadlieva. There's two to lift in this weight category. But she's in the gold medal position. Silver in South Africa recently in a powerlifting event. But hits the front here with two to lift in the opening round. So you see it, Kostrick is our leader in the European Championship and in the Open competition. Mamaldieva in second place in the Open. And right now it is Rita Jokinen who is in the silver medal position in Europe. So Marina Kopika of Ukraine. It's a straight fight for the European gold between her and Justina Kostrik. And they're the two battling for European gold and silver. Outright. Marina Kapika. Silver behind Justina Kozdrik four years ago in Alexin in Russia. No mark registered in Eger three years ago at the last Europeans. Fifth in the Paralympic Games in Rio and seventh in London. But this to hit the front and to get into the gold medal position. At 94 kg, she has done it. Into the lead for Ukraine. Looking to be European champion for the first time. And she's overtaken Justina Kostrik by four kilograms. So she is our European leader, our open leader. Kostrik in the silver medal position in both. And Ninenga Wudiyashi of Indonesia going for open glory here, but obviously not the European title. The one, two, three in the open. Kapika, Kostrik, and Mamaldieva. Who's from the uh, Asian Confederation, as is Ninenga Wiriashi. She the Asian, Southeast Asian Games champion four times, most recently last year in Kuala Lumpur, the first Indonesian powerlifting medalist at a Paralympic Games. She won bronze in Rio, was fifth in London and bronze in the World Championships in 2014.
Gives this at 97 kg for the lead in the open competition. Well, she's happy with it. You heard it herself. And so are the officials. Two to one in her favor. And she is our open championship leader. Finished fourth in the World Championships in Mexico City and only missed out by a solitary kilogram behind Zoe Newson who took the bronze. That was emphatic. So in with a big shot of the open gold. And it's a great straight fight between uh, Kapika and Kostrick to be European champion, as it has been before. So next up, Lara de Lima of Brazil, looking to lift 65. Currently in second place in the open competition of 41 kg. And the fact she's going for 65, well, Zoe Newson is the European champion. And I think likely you can put her down as the European Open champion as well. Two sets of medals being competed for, remember. Over 65. She's our junior champion as well, the Open junior champion. And that's three out of three for Lara de Lima. So she's copper fastening her position. So calm with it as well. In second position in the Open competition. At 41 kilograms and she's she's only 15 years and a month old well this is our terrific venue here which is uh, excellent multi-purpose indoor venue but generally we see this as a basketball venue in Berk Zurmer in Pas de Calais Calais itself being up the coast that was a solid lift by Lara de Lima. So now, Shikzoda Mamaldieva of Uzbekistan, who cleared 65 in the opening round, going for 71 here, which would not get her into the open medals. But she is the open junior champion, having lifted 65 in the uh, opening round. Looked quite solid and it's 2-1 in her favour. It's a good lift for Mamelieva. Improves to 71 kg.
So here's our new European champion. For the first time, it's Zoe Newsom. Cleared 83 in the opening round. She's at an advantage of 18 kg over Lara de Lima for Brazil. And that's in terms of the open competition. And she's at the moment 28 kg clear of Xenia Toka of Ukraine, who was in the previous group. So won't be coming out again. Well, how great with your very first attempt at the competition to secure the European title. The rest is just a victory lap. For 88 for Newson. And she's got that too! Three out of three. What a victory lap. And she's got one more of them to come. Previously twice a Paralympic Games bronze medalist, world champion bronze medalist, European silver last time out in Egger. And she's got the European gold now. So a big battle to be European champion between Justyna Kostryk of Poland and Marina Kupika of Ukraine. Kostryk lifted 90 last time and Kupika came out to lift 94. And Kostryk's going for 94 as well, which on the head-to-head, -head, the body weight, oh, she's keen. Uh, she would take it, Kostryk, because she's marginally a lighter by... About 400 grams, give or take. This then for 94. And for the European lead. Really strained in that one. But it's good, it's good, and she's in the gold medal position again at the Europeans. Very successful. Well, she said herself she was quite disappointed at uh, missing out in the World Championships. She finished fifth in Mexico City, was fourth at the Paralympic Games. She's uh, three times World Championship silver medalist, Justina Kostryk. And twice a European champion. Well, at the moment, she's in position for a third, but take nothing for granted. Really tight between her and Marina Kapika. Marina Kapika is up now, having cleared 94 in the previous round. This for 96. But in terms of the head to head, anytime they are level, it is Justina Kostry who has the advantage. So now, Maria Kapika again. European. Silver medalist five years ago in Lexington. Didn't register a mark in the World Championships in Mexico. And fifth, her global best, that was in Rio at the Paralympic Games from Dinopro Petrovsk. And this for 96. This then for the gold medal position again in the European Championships. Marina Kapika at 96. Well, I know her coach loves it. He's not the only one, two to one. She goes into the gold medal position with a round to go. Marina Kapika clearing 96. A solid lift and a good lift. It was clean, it was smooth, and she's given the vote by two to one. So work to do again for Justina Kostry as Marina Kapika is in the gold medal position. Watching on the big screen, 
behind the scenes, behind the stage in the warm up area. The pole is knocked to the silver medal position. She's the reigning European champion, but will have to lift successfully in the final round. Ninenga Wadiyashi of Indonesia is in the gold medal position in the open competition. Asian Para Games coming later this year. to clear a hundred and to give her a great shot then of the open gold. Jakarta hosting the Asian Para Games in October. to break the hundred. Nope, three red lights against. So, Wudiasi looking to beat the best that Europe can provide. And at the moment she's doing that, she's uh, a kilo clear of Marina Kapika and three clear of Justina Kozdrik. In position for the Open Championship gold. She keep it there. The Asian Open Championships are being held in Japan later this year, ahead of the Asian Para Games. So into the final round then, Lara de Lima of Brazil. Well, it is open silver for her. And she is the open junior gold as well. Two successful lifts at 62 and at 65. for 70. Zoe Newson, the European and the Open champion. De Lima with the Open silver. And this to improve her position. It's not going to happen for her though. Not going to happen. So 65 her best. Now she takes the Open junior gold medal and the open silver but 70 this time was just beyond it. couldn't pull it off So there's only Zoe Newson left to lift then in the 41 kg and she's already taken the gold but still quite a few we'll be seeing at uh, 45 kg there's still four going in that just stopped halfway up on the uplift so now to get the 45 kg final round up and running she has won the open Junior gold.
and in the senior open she's lying in fourth position for Uzbekistan Shakzoda Mamadalieva cleared 65 and 71 so far and this for 77 but it will not see her climb the table anymore Mamadalieva for 77. Not too different from her earlier efforts, but that voted down two to one. So 71, her best of the day. And it is fourth in the open competition for Mamadalieva. Uzbekistan is just a bit east of Kazakhstan, where in most uh, European sport, Europe ends and Asia begins. So fourth in the Open for Mamadieva, and she is our Open Junior winner. Got it lifted, but not clearly enough from one angle. So here is our European champion then at 41 kg. And she's the European Open champion also for Great Britain, Zoe Newson. aiming for 91 kg to round off a very successful competition. She's got that too. For the European champion, Zoe Newson. Absolutely no hesitation. Clean and straight. Three successful lifts. All three referees voting her way. So now, a bit of pressure on our reigning European champion, Justina Kostrik of Poland. Currently in the silver medal position, but looking to draw level with Marina Kapika and would take, therefore, the head to head and would go back in front. Ninenga Wiriashi has taken the open gold. In terms of the European title, it's down to Kostrik and Kapika. That the lift that she wants successful to retain her title. She's got it two to one. She's back in front in the final round. Justina Kostri aiming for her third European gold medal in a row. And that puts her in front at the right time. It was a two to one in her favor. And she can do no more. It will be silver at the very, very worst for her.
Now, this is interesting. Marina Kapika is looking to have a go at the open title as well. She is aiming for 101, and so too now is Ninenga Wiriesia of Indonesia. Kostrik and Kapika both lifted 96. Kostrik with the slightly lighter body weight when weighing in at the start of the competition. All she has to do is match what Kapika's done. Kapika has to do more. And Kapika originally was looking to do 97, but is now going for 101. Inenga Uriasi has lifted 97, missed 100 in the previous round. If you were to miss this, Kapika then would only have needed to have lifted a 98 in order to take the open gold as well as the European title. So for 101, Ninenga Uriesi. To definitively stay in the open gold medal position. Uriesi for 101, and that is going to be too much for her. So 97 is her best in the competition. And she'll have to wait and see if she maintains her spot in the open gold medal position. It was just too much. Well, either way, it's either the open gold or silver for her. Very impressive lift of 97 in the opening round. There's our reigning two in a row European champion. And we'll know in the next two and a half minutes if it'll be three golds in a row for Justina Kozdrik. And that's because the final lift is to come for Marina Kapika, who's got 100 seconds left and she's not in the tunnel. Well, there she is. You can just see her on the right of your shot. That's where the tunnel begins. And she's now got 80 seconds. Her uh, coach has come back out. And there he is going through shot. And they've now got 70 seconds. I would say she didn't have to go for 101 here. For the European title, 97 would have been sufficient. And for the Open title, 98. But here she comes. She's got 50 seconds to get the bar up. And normally they're waiting in the tunnel, they have their two minutes. Well, it's 101 she's going for. And that for the European title and the European Open title. 30 seconds. So this for the gold, to be European champion for the first time, and she's straining to get it up, she did lift it. But was it a one fluid motion? No, she does not get it. And 96 is where it ends for her, too much in the bar in the end. So it's the European silver for Kapika for the second time.
The European silver and the European Open bronze for Kapika and our European champion for the third Euros in a row is Justina Kostry of Poland. So our 45 kg European champion again is Justina Kostryk, lifting 96. Maria Kopika of Ukraine also lifted 96, but misses out in the head-to-head. -head. So it is a European silver for her. And the bronze at European level goes to Rita Jokinen of Finland. In terms of the open competition, Ninenga Wiriasi gets the gold, Justina Kostry the silver, and Marina Kapika the bronze. Mara Delieva of Uzbekistan was in fourth position. And in terms of the uh, 41 kg, Zoe Newson is the European champion and the open champion as well. The open silver going to Lara de Lima of Brazil. The open bronze to Ksenia Toker of Ukraine who takes the European silver also. And the European bronze at 41 goes to Monica Zram of Poland. And the medal ceremony will be coming up shortly.